Hi, ready to talk about the hottest JavaScript runtimes? Today, we're breaking down some of the most popular ones, and choosing the right one can be a game changer for any project. It impacts your speed, security, and scalability. So, if you're building a product in 2025, your choice of JavaScript runtime can either give you a competitive edge or slow you down. So, here's the big question. In 2025, should you stick with Node.js, explore the secure modern world of Dino, or go all in on the speed of Bun? At Jelvix, we've tested all three, and today, we're unpacking where each one wins. So, in this video, we're exploring three real-life project scenarios and giving you our take on how these three runtime options really compare. So, let's jump in. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. And make sure to watch until the end to see the entire landscape of use cases for each of the runtime. Let's kick things off with a classic use case we often encounter in client projects. Scalable Web APIs At Jelvix, we found that when you're building high-load REST or GraphQL APIs, ones that need to handle millions of requests, Node.js remains the most reliable choice. It's battle-tested for high-traffic environments and backed by a massive and mature ecosystem of developers, tools, libraries, and frameworks. But wait, there's more. Node's full NPM compatibility gives API developers instant access to massive libraries of packages from request parsers and rate limiters to authentication middleware and schema validators. For Jelvix experts, it's a great advantage allowing to speed up development cycles and reduce time to market. As for high-load APIs, it also integrates effortlessly with production-grade observability tools like Datadog, New Relic, and Prometheus, all crucial for monitoring performance, debugging issues, and maintaining uptime under pressure. Oh, and we almost forgot to mention, its deep middleware support and robust tooling make Node.js far better suited for building, scaling, and maintaining complex API infrastructures than other runtimes. So how would the other ones handle such a project then? Speaking of Dino, when it comes to scalable, high-traffic APIs, many Jelvix experts would agree Dino still lags behind. Its ecosystem is limited, with fewer mature frameworks and minimal middleware support for complex routing. It also lacks full NPM compatibility which can slow down development if you rely on popular node packages. While observability tools are improving, they're not as robust or integrated as in Node.js setups. So here's the bottom line. Dino can be ideal for small, secure internal apps, but for large-scale production-ready APIs, it's not yet a drop-in replacement for Node. Now, what about Bun? It's blazingly fast, and we've seen that firsthand at Jelvix. For prototyping, SSR, or Edge apps, Bun offers incredible speed and an all-in-one toolchain. But for scalable, high-traffic APIs, it's not quite there yet. Bun isn't battle-tested in production at scale, and its ecosystem and routing capabilities are still maturing. Many NPM packages don't behave reliably, and observability tools like Datadog or OpenTelemetry require extra setup or aren't fully supported. Plus, its native HTTP server is fast, but lacks advanced middleware and routing features needed for complex APIs. In short, Bun is a great choice for front-end or edge projects due to its speed and dev simplicity, but it is not ready for comprehensive API backends. Speaking of the kinds of projects Bun is great for, that brings us to our second case where Bun really shines. So imagine building a modern, front-end heavy web app with server-side rendering, edge deployments, and rapid iteration cycles. In cases like this, developer velocity and toolchain simplicity matter just as much as runtime performance. And that's, from our own experience at Jelvix, is where Bun excels. Just consider this. Bun bundles everything into one sleek runtime. A JavaScript, TypeScript transpiler, bundler, test runner, and package manager. No need to install and configure Webpack, Babel, Jest, or NPM or Yarn separately. You get near-instant cold starts, blazing build times, and minimal setup friction. Pretty cool, right? And that's not all. In some of our prototype builds, we've seen up to three times faster performance compared to Node, especially when dealing with script-heavy components or frequent rebuilds. Onboarding new devs? It's smoother too. Thanks to Bun's tight integration between tools, reduced context switching, and a leaner development environment. All of this makes Bun a perfect fit for front-end heavy SSR projects, edge deployments, and MVPs that need to launch fast and iterate even faster. Now speaking of Dino, it's also built with simplicity in mind. 
but it takes a different route. Let's imagine the following project, an internal HR dashboard based portal for a government institution where security, clarity and maintainability are non-negotiable. That's where Dino really shines. And at Jelvix, we often recommend it for exactly these kinds of projects. Why is that, you may ask? Well, because Dino's secure by default architecture aligns perfectly with projects that handle sensitive data. Unlike Node.js, Dino restricts file, network, and environment access unless explicitly granted, something our engineering team at Jelvix sees as a huge win for security first teams. It also supports TypeScript out of the box, no configuration headaches, no extra tooling, and it embraces native ES modules for a cleaner, more future-proof approach. There's also no node modules clutter and no dependency bloat. Instead, Dino uses URL-based imports that are smartly cached, resulting in cleaner and lighter project structures. We found this especially helpful in projects where auditability and dependency transparency matter. And hold on, there's more to it. From a design standpoint, Dino is elegant and predictable. It includes a built-in linter, formatter, test runner, and bundler, making it an ideal fit for engineering teams who value code consistency, fast onboarding, and minimal setup time. Summing up, Dino is not as much about performance speed as it is about maintaining clean, secure, and future-ready code bases. At Jelvix, we suggest Dino when a team is looking to move fast without compromising structure or control, especially in HR or internal admin tools, audit-ready tools, or APIs. And here you have it, as promised, the landscape of most common use cases of each of the runtime, straight from the Jelvix portfolio of projects. So which project are you up to next? And which runtime will you be using? Share with us in the comments. Also, support us by liking this video and check out this one to learn even more about Node.js. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.